Hi, I'm Karen and this is the presentation of my senior project. From the previous semester, I proposed to the committee on the topic of serial killer. And there, after the research, I formulated it into a brief. How do we provide a qualitative understanding of our factors that built the previous epidemic of serial killers in the United States from 1970 until 1990 through design? From what I proposed last semester, the media consists of a book, a newspaper, and a figure for AR, as of the following. After a great deal of time through research and analysis, this is my new design brief. To design a new way of communication for readers of true crime, to make them understand and what produce serial killers and why they committed crimes. Birthday greeting to my daughter, wishing you every happiness this birthday season, bright and charming as a river otter, and from deep within my heart, I share some special reasons. Reason of your faith, love and trust, these of you I have seen and keep dear. Remembrance of your birthday past, family times, and all of us. But who knows that this letter was written from Dennis Rather, a serial killer who murdered 10 victims in Wichita. Serial murderers look totally ordinary to us, but their minds are the most extraordinary, dreadful, very distinctive, and complex. This is why we need a scientific explanation to answer these questions. Therefore, I propose to you my project, Profiling Figures. It is an investigation on the three distinct typologies of serial murderers based on their motives, which are visionary, hedonistic, and power control oriented murderers. The investigation will be a compilation of what they did and categorized into foundations to make the explanation become visible without distorting the fact. Criminal profiling is basically a reverse engineering a crime, looking at the choice of the victims, crime scenes, organization level, and then pre-imposed event behavior, and all those things tell us the kind of person who committed the crime. The presentation of the word contains sensitive content. So what I do is, I as an investigator, collect and connect the stories from Zodiac Killer, Dennis Rather, and Richard Rimless, which based consecutively on their typologies. In order to distinguish each murderer, I use different typographies. Richard used cursive handwriting, Dennis Rather used ball-pointed pen, Zodiac Killer used typewriter. And then I list out the content, which contains of, first, their individual crime stories, Second, scientific and psychological explanation. Third, pattern of their crimes. And fourth, the choice of the victims. By setting up four foundations for investigating, each found pieces from criminal will be categorized in order to make the motive visible. So my first foundation is why? Why does these people committed crimes? Second is who? Who are their victims? And what are the criteria for their choosing the victim? Third is where, where are these crimes took place, and fourth, how, how did these murderers commit crime. So then, I compounded them in a way that everything is in order, and here is my ongoing project. Profiling figures is my conclusion on the investigation of Zodiac Killer, Richard Remless, and Dennis Rader. The concept of this project is to organize found evidence from serial killers which mainly are publication, and after that I make the scientific explanation become visible by still screening the text on top of the evidence. The art direction of my project is static and clear. For the first foundation of why, it basically explains about nature or nurture that create the serial killers. So it's the combination of two, genetic loads the gun, personality and psychology aimed and experiences pull the trigger. This is the back cover of the box. Reader can begin reading from any of the foundations because each set explains different points. Looking inside the box, there is a smaller box of who, which explains about who are their targets, what are the criteria of these criminals selecting the victim. The box contains a Polaroid of Dennis Rader, a victim book, and a shirt cloak with blood from Zodiac Killer. Inside of the victim's book, 
the personnel belonging of Zodiac Killer, I highlighted the psychology and scientific explanation for instance. Women are majority of the target because they are biologically weak victims. Zodiac only attack on couples. Then it said, he always been attracted to younger women. He called an 11 year old or younger woman. This is a polaroid of Dennis Rader. The screen text explained that Dennis Rader is the pedophilia and cannot distinguish between the children and younger women. The last piece inside the box is a striped shirt cloaked in blood and the flap of this shirt was cut out in a square piece. The shirt was from the victim of Zodiac Killer. The text says, no one deserved to be another man's victim. It explains that Zodiac Killer had no direct target, instead he committed randomly. Moving on to the second foundation of where, it compounds the evidence from the likely place most of this crime took place. Richard's crime usually happened in the house at night, Zodiac attacks on vehicle, and then is usually sent letter. When unfold, the evidence will be still screened, with the text says, from the individualistic society, which means that the rights of serial murderers least came from the country with collectivism culture. The close-up look are the handwritten mark from the three serial killers. There will be an overlay text conclude about why they chose these places. Infographic about the country with the largest number of serial murderers based on Radford University statistics. I had taste printing to check the size and exploring on silk screening. The last and the most complex part is how the book compounds of torn pages from different notebook of serial killers which narrate about individual crime stories. The art direction of each serial killers are based on their personalities. And here is the flat plan design for the book of how. For instance, a record from the Zodiac Killer and his threatening letter sending to San Francisco Conico. Zodiac Killer is an organized killer who satisfied from controlling and manipulating. So the text will screen eloquent, intelligent, manipulative. Inside of the threatening letter, a square cutout piece from the victim's shirt, a cipher and message are enclosed. This spread was reimagined from Richard Remiller's obsessive in occult. The text explained about how did he cultivated in satanism and planned his murders, so the art direction will be obsessive and condensed. And they use the fountain pen with an Indian ink write in cursive to fill out the page. So then I print out the grotesque image based on his story on acetate paper. So the text, other explorations from the flat plan are in a work progress folder. The overview of profiling figures consists of why, who, where, and how. The compilation of their evidence are publication based. Next step, I will refine the message to be clearer and exploring fossil screen technique, simplify more of the stories, and make real size mock up design on book and objects. To fill out the question from the previous semester from committee, what is the emotional driver that people are fascinated to these stories? The answer is, serial killers are anonymous criminals with high intelligence in which we cannot know who they are. The emotional driver is because it is mysterious and my project answer the reader's question through the simplified version of their complex mind. That is all of my senior project update. I appreciate your time. Thank you.